everyone welcome to my youtube channel amber's awfully awesome art and today i will be combining the shelly art bloom recipe with botanical dutch pours um and i decided to use some really fun bright uh colored pillow paint so my first one is sherwin williams color to go in navel orange it is a really beautiful uh orange color just like the navel orange fruit um and it dried really really nicely and here are my colors that i am using on my first heart uh i am using um Atelier Cobalt Turquoise, and there's my consistency. I use Valspar Untinted Base C straight out of the can for all the paints and pigments. I even wet the pigments with that. Um, and this is this little piggy Taffy, followed by this little piggy Deja Vu. That is a neon pigment, so Deja Vu will not have any uh, shimmer to it. But it's a really nice, intense violet color. And last but not least, I am using um, Golden Cobalt Violet Hue. And I noticed it was a little thick, so I thinned it out with some Liquitex um, acrylic ink in quinacridone magenta you can definitely thin your paints out with um, acrylic inks or water or uh, joa which is josanya and water mixed together and here is my nine inch heart uh it's wood so i gessoed it with about five to six coats of gesso um and uh now i will just layer my uh base paint out uh and you really want to protect your wood surface because the moisture from the paints can really um, warp the wood. So the gesso or kill spray helps to stop that. So it's always good to prime any wood uh, substrate that you're using. Uh, as I mentioned before, I am combining um, two techniques. So um, I made sure that my pillow paint wasn't as... Uh, wasn't too much on there because since I am going to be using a cell activator I don't want my cells to get really wonky so here I am starting out with the cobalt uh, turquoise followed by um, uh, uh, taffy and next I have this little piggy deja vu and last but not least I will be using the golden cobalt violet hue uh any golden paint that has the word hue after it is actually a student their student grade line i did not know about this but that's why they're a little cheaper um so yeah there's a fun fact right there and i decided to use amsterdam lamp black and amsterdam silver i don't see a lot of silver being used so i thought it would be like really fun um and funky and as in my other dutch pours i start out in the center this was a little uh challenging because i've never used a cell activator to to blow out like this but um it, it was fun so just kind of move your dryer in the direction that your paint is going so yeah there you have it i will let y'all enjoy the rest of the process
All right, y'all, here are the wet results of heart number one. I'm overall super happy with how this turned out. I really like how Taffy and um, Deja Vu are so intense with the navel orange uh, base paint. Um, and here are the dried resin results. I use Mixed Media Girl Resin. I will have her website and channel linked down below. And we will go on to heart number two. And y'all, we're on to heart number two. I kind of kept the same uh, color palette in the same color family, but I am using Golden Cobalt Violet Hue, uh, followed by this little piggy mermaid. And um, I added this little piggy groovy, which is uh, a pink neon pigment. And I'm also using this little piggy Twilight. I've never used Twilight. It's like a great uh, mix between magenta and uh, purple. And I am going to finish it off with golden cobalt violet um, hue. Uh, and I decided to use a yellow pillow paint um, on this heart. So this is Sherwin-Williams Gusto Gold. I've had this laying around for a long time. Um, and I really wanted to try it out. I've had some failed attempts with with using um, uh, yellow. And I'm using a Amsterdam lamp black and Amsterdam silver cell activator. So I will do the same thing. I will layer my base paint. Uh, I will not add too much. I slammed it down to pop some bubbles since you really can't torch the house paint. Um, you can, but I, I mean, for safety reasons, you shouldn't. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I thought I added a lot of paint so I'm kind of um, spinning it out right now uh, and next I will layer my colors and I'm just getting the edges I realized um, since I had done uh, a black pillow paint before this I didn't like it I scraped it off so I'm making sure I'm covering everything so yeah now I will um, layer my paints um, and then blow it out and I just wanted to reiterate that when you're tweaking these, make sure that you're gently pushing the pillow paint um, towards the center. Uh, so yeah, I'm starting out with golden cobalt violet hue. As I mentioned before, uh, for golden, any paint that has the word hue after it is golden's student grade paint. So it's a little cheaper. Um, so, uh, that is a fun fact right there for y'all. And there's this little piggy mermaid followed by this little piggy, um, groovy. Uh, the pink really made the piece pop with, um, the bright co cobalt blue and then the yellow and the cobalt violet and the twilight really added a nice shimmer along with mermaid so on this one i'm also using amsterdam lamp black and amsterdam silver cell activator all of my materials are available at fluid-art.co so definitely go check them out uh, and now i will blow this out um, from the center like i do my other uh, botanical dutch pours and I will let y'all enjoy the rest of this process um, and enjoy the tweaking part. But yeah, I'm going to blow this out and then I will be back with the wet results after I uh, tweak this out. So, all right, y'all, um, I will join y'all in the next clip and enjoy the process.
Here is the wet result of my uh, yellow pillow uh, gusto gold um, uh, botanical bloom. I'm super happy with how this turned out and I really love how the blues and the pinks and the dark violets uh, look really make the yellow pop and then here is the dried resin result and now we will go on to heart number three in the next clip but uh there you have it for heart number two All right, guys, we are moving along to heart number three, and here are my colors. And I decided to go with a uh, violet purple base for this one. So this is um, uh, Sherwin-Williams Color To Go Kimono Violet. Extremely beautiful. Um, I absolutely loved how this one dried. And um, there's the consistency. And it will dry a little darker, from this um so yeah uh they do tend to dry a little bit darker but uh these are my colors that i will be using i wanted to like like stay in the orange and magenta and pink family so i mixed up amsterdam um vermilion i really love um this orange color it's really intense and then i decided to use some uh this little piggy flamingo this is a color shift uh pigment that they released a couple of months ago and um this is followed by soho quinacridone magenta and here is this little piggy axlotl this is one of the recent pigments that they came out with it is so beautiful i'm so glad that i got this uh pigment and last but not least i am using tri art quiller violet uh i really hope i'm saying that correctly but Quiller Violet and Axlotl look really pretty together. And then for this one, I'm using Amsterdam Lamp Black and Amsterdam Deep Gold as my cell activator. Um, so here is my pillow paint all laid out. Um, I have it to um, the amount that I want on my surface. Uh, and as you can see, it's a really beautiful violet um color and now i will layer my paints so i'm starting out with vermilion um it just goes so great with this purple uh paint um so yeah i'll start out with vermilion and then i will layer with flamingo now flamingo um depending on the light or or how the sun hits it or the light hits it it gives either a like turquoisey green or a gold color shift um so yeah i've never really used it that much um i've used it in some coasters but it's it's really pretty um and this will be followed by soho quinacridone magenta now the soho quinacridone magenta is a little, little bit lighter than a uh, golden quinacridone or liquitex um uh quinacridone and this is this little piggy axlotl that i uh layered and this is followed by triart quiller violet and i believe the axlotl is a color shift also because it just gives such a beautiful shift with the quiller violet in the sun um and there is my amsterdam lamp black and then gold cell activator um and i will start blowing this out from the center as i mentioned before these were a little bit tricky for me since you don't want that cell activator to sit too long it will sink down and then it's it's just not going to be good um so you don't want to have it sink down so yeah i will let y'all enjoy the rest of the process for this heart um i will tweak it and i will be back with the wet results
Okay, here are the wet results of heart number three. Uh, this one is my favorite, um, and I'm super happy with how this turned out. I, I feel like I should have used a little less of the Quiller of Violet, but here is the resined result. Um, and just check out the color shift from Flamingo and Axlodal and the orange. So yeah, I'm super happy with this. And next, we will go on to heart number four. So we are on to heart number four. I'm basically using all the same colors that I used in the navel orange um, base, but I added uh, Triart Thalo Turquoise, and I had some Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet, um, and I also had some uh, this little piggy crescendo that I will show you in a minute that I used as well. Um, and I decided to use a red pillow paint that I had laying around for a year or two. This is Sherwin-Williams Color To Go, and it is called Positive Red. It looks really bright red, um, but once it dries, it's a really like deep, um, almost like a scarlet um, red color. So uh, that's the thing about the colored pillows is that they will look a little lighter when you get them, but they definitely tend to dry maybe half a shade to a shade darker. So do keep that in mind. And here I am just spreading out my pillow paint base. Uh, it's pretty thin. You don't want a lot of paint because um, you want your cells to hold a little bit of shape and they will get wonky if you have too much paint um, on your surface. And now I will layer my colors out. I am starting out with um, Triart Thalo Turquoise. Now I really love Triart Thalo Turquoise. My favorite is Golden, but this is just as good, if not better. Um, and here is this little piggy uh, taffy. Uh, and I got all of these paints from fluid-art.co. Uh, and this is Atelier Cobalt Turquoise. I will have all of the colors listed down below. So definitely check out the description box. And here is that uh, this little piggy crescendo that I had left over. I, I didn't really see much of it. Um, once I blew this out, but I mean, you can see a little bit of the shift. And then here is um, Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet, followed by this little piggy Deja Vu, which is a neon pigment. And then I topped it off with um, Golden Cobalt Violet Hue. And for this one, I decided to use a Amsterdam Lamp Black and Amsterdam Deep Gold Cell Activator. Um, this one blew out a little differently for me. It was more centered in the heart, and I kind of thought the composition was interesting. Um, so yeah, I was pretty happy with how this one blew out. But um, these do take a little getting used to. They're not like a regular uh, Dutch pour. Uh, since you have your cell activator, uh, you want to make sure you're quick so that it doesn't sink in to your paints because then it, it won't blow. But yeah, here I am going in a zigzag motion. And in the next clip, uh, I will let y'all enjoy the rest of the process and I will basically uh, tweak this entire blowout out.
Here is the wet result of heart number four. Um, I wasn't expecting the thalo turquoise to contrast really well with uh, red, with the red pillow. Um, and I was going to scrape it, but something told me to just let it dry and see how it dries. So that's always a, a good thing to do is to let your pieces dry before you decide to you know, do something else with them. And here is the resin um, result. It looks pretty cool. I really like the gold lacing uh, with the red pillow. And here are all four hearts um, together. And they just have such an intense color pop. And I feel like each piece has a uh, unique character to it. So yeah, overall, I'm super happy. These are ready for their new home. And let me know what y'all think in the comment uh, section. Um, and also, all of my materials and recipes will be listed down below in the description box. And guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, until next time, stay safe, stay classy, and stay awfully awesome, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!